When you're troubleshooting a time-sensitive issue, you really want the ability to identify quickly any recent changes. Now with Change History, you can find exactly what changed in your Azure resources. Jenny Hunter is here to show us how it works today on Azure Friday. Hey everyone, Donovan Brown here with another episode of Azure Friday. I'm here with Ginny and she's going to show us how to use change history to troubleshoot issues in Azure. So change history, how do I use this and, and what is it really good for? Basically when it comes down to when things are breaking in your environment, the first question is what's changed? Yep. And today unfortunately it can be a really frustrating experience. So let me go ahead and kind of give you a showcase of that. Okay. So here's my machine, let's call it Marketing One. <laughs> and it's responsible for one of my websites, contozo.com, and it is simply dropping resources today. And as a result, I'm dropping customers, people are getting error pages. And so I want to figure out why this machine isn't giving me the service it's supposed to be doing. So I click onto activity log and go through. And I know that I first started getting reports of this this morning. So I'm going to look at just the last 24 hours in activity log. And what I get here is I have a lot of information thrown in my face. I have a lot of auditing going on in my environment. And so if I'm lucky enough, I spot this creator update virtual machine. So I go to drill down more in that and I get this, which tells me it was either created or updated <laughs> at this time. So uh, this gives me a time frame to work with, but I don't know much else. So I could, if I'm lucky, I have a user that I can go and try and contact them and figure out why this has happened. But in general, I don't know the result of that. I don't know if anything even changed or they could have just made a put call with the API that had the exact same payload and therefore the resource didn't actually change at that time. Gotcha. So I can be overloaded with all the different information coming to me from these audit logs. But now, if I go and take the next step to go into Azure Policy, and from here, I can see I actually became non-compliant with three different policies. So I'm going to scroll down into one of them and kind of deep dive into why this machine might, might have become non-compliant. And from the non-compliant resource page, I see that this machine is indeed listed. The cool thing is now from the resource compliance page here in policy, you get this change history tab. Okay. And by clicking on that, I'm able to see all the times there is actual content change to the resource. So this is times that I know for certain that a property on that resource changed. Right, so this is different from the scenario you described earlier where there was just a put to the API that didn't really change anything. That'll still show up in the audit log, but it will not show up here unless something actually changed. Correct, so okay. this helps you really filter down a lot of the noise Got that it. happens in your environment. Perfect. And so, like I said, I know that this problem kind of started occurring this morning, and I see that right early this morning, there's actually a change that was detected. So by clicking into this, I'm able to see the quickly before and after of a change that happened in my environment where the VM size is actually modified, which could affect which resources are available. But also a key component of that is that the machine gets restarted whenever mm. someone changes the size, which could affect a lot of my availability and any applications running on the machine. Absolutely. And so this capability provides a lot of flexibility in helping you to understand what's going on in your environment and troubleshoot when you get different tickets or issues coming up to actually understand what changed in your environment so you can take those next steps to do root cause analysis. Yeah, or, or very simply just change it back. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. And so the next step on top of this, this came out into public preview and we're actually now out in public preview with our API. So you can get more freedom and control. You don't have to have policies on your resources in order to access this data. Gotcha. And even better, you actually require no configuration and no cost to see what's happening on your resource. Great, and having this available through a REST API now allows me to incorporate this data and these policies and this change information into other parts of my process, potentially CI CD pipelines. I could then go and query some of this data to see if the changes have been made the way I want them to be. Exactly. Perfect. So we're learning all about the new improvements of change history here on Azure Friday. <laughs> 